day of the Microsoft Main Stage Festival series. I'm kind of sad to see it going. We've had a fantastic week so far. Thank you so much to everyone who has joined us. I know that uh, loads of schools have taken part. We've had some fantastic feedback across Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, people just letting us know uh, that their schools have been taking part. So thank you so much to all the classes who have taken part in the Microsoft Main Stage Festival. Today we're going to be tying it all up and we're going get, to be getting everything ready for our festival. So the last couple of things that we need are we need to promote that festival. So we need to put on a giant poster uh, so that everyone can, uh, everyone knows to come to the festival and then we are going to create a, a sway and we're going to pretend that that's our website and we're going to use it as our website um, so that uh, everybody has access to all of the amazing things that you have been creating. So without further ado, let's jump in for the final time into our Microsoft Main Stage Festival project. I'll see you there. Okay, so here we are for the last time on Microsoft OneDrive. Okay, so here we are, uh, and we are, as same as always, gonna be creating from within OneDrive. So I'm just gonna go new, and then I'm gonna go down to PowerPoint presentation. Now, you know me now, <laughs> I've already done it. So here's one I made earlier, um, just to show you what we're gonna be creating today. So here is my poster. Um, it was it's very easy to do, it's not hard at all. You're just changing the dimensions, adding in an image, adding in some text, and uh, then you're good to go. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we need to go right click and we need to go new slide. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of all these things here. Um, and we now need to have a look at the, uh, the, the dimensions of this slide. So you can change your, how your poster looks by going to custom slide and now you can change the paper that you're wanting it to be on. So I went for A3 paper and I chose portrait. So that's up the way, landscape is sideways. Okay, so we're going for a portrait to go up and down the way. And uh, lastly, you don't need to worry about uh, the, the scale, that is fine. So now we have our poster oriented and it's the right size that we're looking for, we can start to put some things in. So we are going to, uh, first of all, change the background. So I'm gonna make the background uh, all black. You can make it a picture if you're wanting, you can um, change it to whatever colors you are wanting. I am gonna go for all black in this case. And I'm just gonna recreate that poster there. The next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to insert um, the picture. So our logo onto the, onto the poster. So I'm just gonna go insert, picture and from device because I have already, I've already downloaded it. Okay, and this is the one that we used uh, yesterday, I believe it was, to create uh, we, where we got rid of the background. Okay, so this is one that has gotten rid of the background. I'm just gonna make it maybe about that size or so. Um, and let's put it in the middle just now. So remember, the middle is where the red lines are. And we can put it up at the top. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to insert some text. So we can go insert text box and there's our text box. Now before we do that, I'm just gonna change the color of the text to white so that we can see it. There we go. Um, select all. And now we want to start putting in the names of our stages. So for us, it's the Microsoft main stage. Okay, now we can go Control A to highlight it all and we can change the font to something that works for us. Now I'm following a theme and we're gonna use Cooper today, but you can change up the fonts if you like. You can use different fonts. It's absolutely up to you what you do. Next, we need to change the, the, the size of the text, okay? So for this, for our poster, I recommend, because we're gonna be moving everything into the middle, is lining it up with the side, okay? So that way you know it's gonna be bang in the middle every single time. So looking for that red line, I don't know if you can see that on the left side of the page there, and uh, just um, pulling it over to the edges. Next, we can go Control A, 
and we can justify it and we can align it to the middle. So now it's centered, we can increase the size of that uh, text there. So let's go for, what looks good, quite like that, 66, okay? The next thing we need to do is we need to um, insert the, all the acts that are going in. So uh, here is one I've done earlier. So f f to speed it up today, all I'm gonna do is just copy and I'm just gonna paste that in here. Um, for our acts, I've put our headline, I've just made them a bit bigger, okay? And for all the other acts, I've made them a little bit smaller and I've just put a dash in between them just to separate them out. It's up to you what you use. I thought that looked quite cool. You can use a star, you could use an emoji, you could use any of the icons that are available, any shapes. It's absolutely up to you. Okay, so that is how I did that. Um, and the next thing we need to do is we just need to replicate this. So in your case, you'll just uh, go control and click. So now we've got both of them. So hold down control and click and then control C to copy, click anywhere, control V to paste. And now you can put them in down below and line them up so that they are bang on in line. That's looking pretty good. Let's go a wee bit to the left. Uh, there we go. Okay, so now they are in line with the edges. We know that they are centered. Perfect. So there we go. There is our, there, there is our second act. And lastly, we can go control V for our third act. We can just line them up again. Um, adjust them. You can use the arrow keys to adjust left and right if you need to. And there we go. So that is our first stage, second stage and third stage. Now, if you just give me two seconds, I will uh, just correct those and just change the, the, the text on those. Okay, so here are all of our acts. Now, it, they're just a bit close together. It's hard to kind of see where they all are. So, um, and just kind of differentiate them out a wee bit. So what I'm going to do is, let's first of all, let's move this one up a wee bit because it's a bit close. Um, we are going to go insert and we are going to insert a shape. Okay, so I'm going to insert a line and all I'm going to do is I'm going to find that line where it is. It, it's very small there. I don't know if you can even see that. Let's zoom in a wee bit. Can you see that blue line yet? There we go. So there is my blue line. Okay, it's just because we're using such big paper. Um, and I'm just going to drag it and I'm going to make sure that it is in a straight line. You should get a little reference line to tell you that it's straight. There it is. So a wee bit further up. And there, I think that's pretty straight. Okay, so we can zoom out a wee bit again. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that one. So I'm. Um, I have made it so mine is, a, is not bang on in the middle, but I have aligned it with Spoon Studio, so you can see there's a red line there. So I know that my blue line is now bang in the middle, and we can change the color of the line to white. There we go, okay. So next thing we need to do is we need to go Control C on the line and put it up above the Microsoft main stage. I'm gonna put it there using the red lines, and then we can go Control C, uh, sorry, Control, click, then Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and we can drag these lines down here for the acoustic tent. So there's a bit of time there. Is it gonna give me the lines? No, it's not today, I wonder why that is. Okay, we're eyeballing it, there we go. Acoustic tent, and then lastly, Control V to paste, and we're just gonna, oops, pull them down, scroll down a wee bit for the DJ tent as well. So we're just gonna eyeball it again here. Um, around about there, perfect, okay. So there we have our, our all of the information that we are needed. Now we're needing one last thing. We need to know when it is and we need to know how much the tickets are going to be, okay? So all I did um, for this one was I just went, uh, added in a text box and uh, put them in. So let's paste that in and you'll notice just for the style, I have aligned them to the right, okay? So you can line them to the right, but it's up to you how you make your poster. So. There is our poster that we're going to be putting out to everyone. I don't think there's any other information that we need on there. Um, maybe you could put the link to your website, to your Sway once we have created that. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, so there is our poster. Now to save that, all you do is you go File, Save As and Download As an Image and then that's you saved your poster as a picture. So what are we going to do now? Well, now we're going to be creating a Sway. Now Sway is a little bit different because you can't create it from the new part over here, okay? So what you need to do is you need to click on the nine um, boxes up in the top left hand side or circles and then you can access Sway from there. So once you click on Sway, 
um, you are asked to create a new blank sway. So let's create a blank one and, <clears throat> excuse me, here we have our Microsoft Sway. Now, Sways are really cool. They're kind of like websites. They're kind of like a presentation all mixed into one, okay? And you can share them out with anyone that you like um, and you can give them access to your Sway. So um, let's um, have a shot at doing that just now. So we are gonna create our Sway. Um, so we're gonna share our Sway. So up at the top right, we have share and we're gonna change it for anyone with the link, okay? Next, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna copy. So we're gonna make it invite people to view, okay? So we're gonna copy that one and, oh, sorry, no, we're, we're not, <clears throat> excuse me, we're gonna invite them to edit it and we're gonna copy that. Next, you're gonna go back to OneDrive, new, and you're gonna go to link and then you're just gonna paste in your link, okay? And give your file a name. So for us, it's gonna be Sway Main Stage um, and then hit create and you will see that you get, a, uh, it's, it's like a shortcut and you can go and edit that sway just by clicking on that link, okay? Fantastic, so <clears throat> what can you do, oops, sorry, with a sway? Well, um, you can add your headings, you can add in any images, you can um, design it in any way you like, you can add in lots of images there, you can include videos, you can include links to external places. It's kind of like a website um, and a presentation kind of mixed into one. So, what are we gonna do? Well, ours is gonna look a little bit like this, okay? So we're gonna have our image up at the top, our logo. Then you're gonna have your poster that you've created. Then underneath, I thought we could maybe put our ticket in there. I thought that might be quite nice. And lastly, we have all of the timings, okay? So this is just a screenshot from uh, the, the Excel workbook that, you've, that you created, uh, was it yesterday or the day before, um, of all the timings. So that is our Microsoft Sway that then you can share out with people and then they can, um, anyone with the link can view, okay? So let's create our Sway. So we are going to add in a background. Now you can put a header, but I quite like adding in a background for the top. So there we go, there we have our Sway. Now I'm using the, because we're gonna have a black uh, kind of theme running through it, I've gone for the picture or the logo that has no background again. Okay, it's up to you what you use. So there we have, I'll show you what that looks like now. There we have our image in there. It's not got anything else there. So we can go back. Now we can insert our image and from here, you're gonna insert your, when it loads up, you're gonna insert your poster. That's why I'm clicking the wrong bit, my device, there we go. So let's add in our poster. So there we go, so we've just added in the image of the poster. Remember, just download your poster as an image and then you can um, add it in here. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in our tickets. So all you need to do is you need to uh, go to present PowerPoint, download as an image for your tickets as well. So there's the tickets in there, <coughs> excuse me. And the last thing we need to do is we need to take a screenshot. So I'm gonna put in um, the image card. And then we're gonna to go to Showtimes. So this is one we did the other day. This has all of the times that we are wanting to put out there. So you could make it look nice. You could put it onto a presentation. You could put it into a doc, uh, like a, a Word document and um, edit it away. But um, I'm just gonna do a quick thing here. Just uh, take a screenshot. So for me, oops, I don't know if I'm still there. <laughs> if I'm still uh, moving in the camera, but we'll see. So I'm just gonna take a very quick screenshot, there we go. Um, and uh, it's now in my clipboard. So when I go back to Sway and I go right, right click and paste, I can actually paste in that screenshot, okay? Uh, so let's have a look at what it looks like now. So play. So that's looking pretty good. Everything's all together, but it would be nice. Then we can kind of run through them all. Um, but it would be nice if we just went all the way down. Okay, so let's go back to edit and we're gonna click on each of these and over here, this is gonna be the, the emphasis on that card. So do you want it to be super big or super small? Okay, so I'm gonna go for medium for them all so it doesn't zoom them in. Um, and let's just see what that looks like. Okay, so there is our poster, there is our ticket, and lastly, there are the times for the event, okay? Uh, so we've got one last thing that we're wanting to put on there. So we can go plus um, text, okay? And, and now we're wanting to just create a fake website, okay, that people can buy your, um, uh, can, can buy tickets at. So we are gonna click on the link button here, and we're gonna go to display text, and we're gonna just put buy, your tickets uh, here, 
okay? And then just come up with a fake web address. So HTTPS uh, colon slash slash. It's going to do the start. And we're going to call it Microsoft Main Stage uh, Buy Tickets, okay? Dot co dot UK. Okay, so let's just double check that works. Okay, okay, so now we have our text in here. We can, oops, we can emphasize it. I highlight it all. Emphasize it just means making it bold. We can make the text a bit bigger and we can change it to a heading as well. Okay, so let's have a look at, see how that looks. Fantastic. Love it. Buy your tickets here. And when I click on that, okay. It's going to take us to nowhere because it's a fake website, okay? Uh, so now we have our sway, we can do one last thing. So we can go share and anyone with the link can view and we want to copy that link, okay? Next, I want you to type in QR code monkey, okay? Okay, and we're going to go to this website here that's uh, qrcode-monkey.com, okay? And from there, all you're going to do is you're going to paste in your sway link and then you're gonna just, you can design it however you like. You could have uh, maybe, let's go for uh, blue and black color gradient. Let's go for uh, uh, yeah, black to blue. Background color can be white, that's fine. You can add in your logo as well. So let's upload our logo. Okay, so there's our logo. We can customize the design of our QR code as well. So let's go for these ones here. Um, and high quality as always. So create QR code. There is our QR code that you've created. So if you don't like the colors, change them. Um, I like to have it all black. Um, and then if you go to custom eye color, you can change the color of the eyes as well. So uh, let's go to um, maybe, a, maybe a lighter blue. Oh yeah, I like that one. And uh, let's go for maybe like a pinky purple as well, just to match. Uh, there, great. Okay, create QR code. Okay, cool, there is our Microsoft Main Stage Festival QR code. So now we can download that. Okay, this is totally free. And once that's downloaded, you can upload that to your poster. So then when you put your poster out and about in the world, people can find your website. Okay, so that's downloaded. We can go back to the poster and we can put the web... Did that work? Nope, hold on. And we need to insert it, that's why. Insert this device there's our QR code okay and I can now put that up in the top corner for people to scan okay and when they obviously when they look at it it's gonna be a lot more zoomed in so they can see all of our uh, nice QR code in there okay uh, so that is the end of our Microsoft main stage festival thank you so much again to everyone who's taken part uh, I hope that you have enjoyed today's session. I'll see you up there on the zoomed in screen in just two seconds. Okay, so that is the end of the Microsoft Main Stage Festival. I am kind of sad to see it go. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who has joined us. I hope that you've learned something new. Uh, we've been learning all about different tools within Microsoft from PowerPoint to Word to Excel to Sway to OneDrive. We had forms going on in there. Uh, I can't even think if there was anything else. We even created our own QR codes as well and to get the background of our images. So incredible work everyone thank you so much for joining us i hope that you've enjoyed uh, all of the sessions that have been going on um, and i would love to see your festivals so please do get your teachers to tweet in um, with some maybe some screenshots or some photos of kind of your festivals and uh, let us know that you have taken part in the microsoft main stage festival planner production uh, program that we have been taking part in thank you again my name is niall i've been working with tablet academy scotland you can find us on twitter at Tablet Academy SC for Scotland. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you again so much for joining us. We've got loads of other things for the Digitized Summer Sessions, so keep an eye out for them. And uh, yeah, thanks again. I will see you all soon on another series. Take care. Cheers. Bye.